about that, about growing up here, uh, the hugeness of your career, uh, the chaos after it, and this moment now, like, it, it, you've had big events in your life, like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying yes. Yeah, yeah. I have, and I've been... I think I've been blessed with those events. I started this whole thing, uh, you know, in an orphanage. And then to come out of that and to be lucky enough to be accepted... There wasn't so many black people around that back in those days. To be accepted, accepted by Irish people and to, to be able to kick a, uh, a ball, a bag of wind. And... Um, get dragged over to Manchester United and stuff like that. So, you know, I think I was a very, very lucky man to have grown up, especially in this country. Well, you, you were, I mean, in fairness now, you were more than accepted by us. You know, you're, you're truly uh, loved, I think, by us. You know, um, that's the sense of feeling I have around the country for you. Um, was the, who ran the orphanage? Um, I think it was a Protestant orphanage uh, that, that the first one that I went into uh, because I was in the boys brigade I knew that at one stage in my life what, what, is, what is that? Uh, I don't know they all wear flat hats and stuff like that and <laughs> I think it's a Protestant thing so yeah uh, <laughs> not like no 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 <laughs> oh, no yeah. it was a, I, it was, it was I, an expensive hat that's what you mean <laughs> No, but seriously, I didn't know um, un until I, I showed someone that picture. Uh, I think it was Norman Whiteside or something. And he was going, hey, how can you be a Catholic? Because then, obviously, I, I became a Catholic later on in life. But I was brought up as a, a, as a, um, a Protestant. And so, so when Norman saw this picture of me as a, as, as a, a Boys Brigade member, he, he was thinking, like... How could you have been in the, the Boys' Brigade? And it was simply because uh, my mother didn't want me to grow up in a, in a you know, in, a, in, a, in the Catholic situation. Did, did your mum leave you into the orphanage? Uh, she did, yeah. Yeah. Which was... Uh, my mother was, uh, was brilliant, you know. She was just... Uh, I mean, she started her working herself when she was uh, 13 and stuff like that. So she had a hard, she had a hard life. So, um, so I was kind of just um, sent to one or two places, and 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 you know, I I, I loved it because there was other people to that I could you know start soccer matches with and yeah. learn how to play and stuff like that and hone me skills, as they say, yeah. or try. Was it? A, do you look back on it as a, a good time? I do, yeah. I kind of do. I, parts of it were bad. Parts of it were bad because, uh, you know, there were those two places in, in uh, Dunleary. One was the bird's nest and, and then the older boys had to go up to Glen Sill. But when you were 10 years old, you had to move up to the next place. And, of course, there was a lot of brothers up at the next place that you had to um, say hello to. They had smaller brothers down in the bird's nest. So they would have been told stories that, you know, the black lad, he hit me. And the older brothers were like, to, I think they kept him there till they were 18 or something like that. So some big guys in there, you know what I mean? So I had to go up and just, uh, you had to try and stand your ground and stuff like that and have, have the odd row with, with uh, their elder brothers and stuff like that. So that was tough because I didn't, uh, I wasn't, I didn't mind a fight, but I didn't want to be fighting with people who were, a lot older than me and stuff like that, so it was tough. You seem uh, very gentle. 
Um, depends on, you know, if, if someone, whatever someone's doing to me, to be honest. I'm yeah. gentle, but... Uh, you know, with people who are gentle with me, you know, I'm not a, I'm not someone who goes around looking for a fight and around like that. But uh, you know, I, I think I, I, I did become a little bit of a bully because that's what happened to me. Mm. And uh, I think, uh, but I hated, uh, I hated being a bully. So when I went up to the other place, I was going to change my ways and all this sort of thing. Didn't get a chance then, really, to be honest, because uh, the the word had already spread up that he, he was a bit of a. Um, yeah, I suppose I was a bully. How, how do you spend your time now? Like, what kind of stuff do you do? In terms of, like, earning money and stuff like that? I, I've been lucky, I think, really, that, that I can still, you know, I can, I, could, I still get asked to go to uh, Aston Villa and places like that and all this one or two very, very strange places. But I've, I've had to learn how to do that because I'm, I wasn't, I, I'm kind of a shy kind of human being. And I don't, I don't really like doing even this TV. <laughs> I love yeah. it because I'm doing it with you, but um, I'm not really too good on, I haven't got a face for TV. Put it that way. <laughs> you got the right there anyway. Uh... <laughs> Is there, um, uh, did you earn a phenomenal amount of money while you were playing? No. No, was it, was it wasn't as, I know it wasn't no. as mental as the money is oh, now. Oh, no, 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 but, um, no, I was on really, really low wages at Manchester United, and that's the whole crux of the thing why I left Manchester United, because I didn't want... Um, Brian Robson was on a certain amount of money, but you knew Brian Robson was the best player by far. Uh, but, I, but I was so far back that the reserve team players were getting more money than me. So I went in to see uh, um, Sir Alex, and I just said, I just like my wages. Uh, you could, you know, I, I wasn't good at doing negotiations and stuff like that. So I said, if you could just up my wages a little, that'd be great. And of course, he didn't take kindly to that. He just said, what? up your weight, get out. Like, get out of the office sort of thing, you know. And that's the way, that's the reason then I just thought, well, I'm going to have to ask to leave and stuff like that, so. But I didn't really have to leave in the end. Or ask to leave in the end, because uh, Sir Alex did it for me. Um, was that because yourself, <coughs> Norman Whiteside and Brian Robson were uh, fond of a pint? Thank Kevin Warren, yeah. Thank Kevin Warren, yeah. Uh, yeah. And Gordon McQueen and, and a few others. Yeah. But Brian could drink for, for, for England. Like, he'd hollow legs. Brian yeah. just, he could stand at the bar all day. I couldn't. I didn't drink to be social. I just drank because I, I was afraid of the next thing that was coming around the corner. It was all new to me. It was all, you know, but they, but um, Norman was just a brilliant player as well. Yeah. He was a brilliant player, but but he did love a, a, a couple of pints and stuff. And uh, I just got caught up in it. You know, if we would go, if, if someone had a party in their house, I had to be drunk before I got to the before I got to the house. I had to be the one that you know was, was, was starting to be rude to people and getting asked to leave before. It was just that I didn't like I didn't really like being in people's company too for too long. Put it that way. And it was, when you were drunk, were you, was your, like, I'd be, I would think of myself as quite a friendly drunk. You know, kind of, it's kind of a soft Egypt drunk. Uh, would you have bought me a drink then? Would I have bought you a drink back then? Yeah. I would have been afraid of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, were you, you didn't like who you were drunk? Um, no, no. I wouldn't have, no, I wouldn't, not at all. Because it changed my whole personality. I'm not, I, like I say, I'm a real quiet sort of person. I didn't like being in the limelight. The only thing, time I like playing, being in a football team is when I'm on the football pitch. And the rest of it was hell, to, for me anyway. Did you, you have, know what I mean? Did you have uh, a partner or anything like that? Or do not in the um, time? Yeah, I've had a couple of wives. A no, not not the same. I don't mean that. But I've had a, I've been I've had a couple of wives and stuff like that. And your own? No, they were my own wives. <laughs> <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm going to be 
really honest. I don't know. I don't know. Just to, just two of my two of my own, and uh, <laughs> they, they, they were brilliant. Yeah. Just, they were just magnificent. With uh, you know, I've, I've, I've got six kids, and uh, you know, I'm, I still talk to my wives, my both of them, yeah. <laughs> and I talk to my kids a lot as well. So, um, so it's all worked out, and we're all you know, we're, we don't hate each other anymore. Anyway. <laughs> you seem like you seem remarkably self-possessed and in control of things, and very seems like there's a great calmness coming off you. It's it's very nice to sit with you. Like you're you're very easy. I, I don't know. I don't know where I get that from because I'm, I'm I was panicking like hell about you, you know having to sit sit here and try and. I was thinking, geez, what will I do? What will I say? And then they were saying, just come in and treat it like, a, you know, two fellas having a chat. And yeah. And it, it seems to be a lot easier than I thought it'd be, to be honest. Because, like I say, I don't I don't usually like, uh, you know, crowds and stuff like that. So, uh, it's not that... Uh, they're a lovely crowd. <laughs> they are a lovely crowd, but I'm yeah. not used to it. I'm not used to it. How often do you have to do the um, talking in public thing? Um, yeah. Quite often now, because it is a way of making a living, and you know, having, I still have six kids, and I still want to be able to buy them um, not as many presents as I got when they were young, but yeah. but uh, I still want to buy them stuff that that they they I probably should have given them more money, I think, and made them save so they could buy their own stuff now. But they're all old. They're, my my eldest is thirty four, I think. So 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 he's. Uh, he should start buying his own stuff, shouldn't he? He's <laughs> not that yeah, age. Soon, he's okay. soon. He's not that age. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, and when you do these talks, what do you talk about? Well, it's, it's usually the same things, like that, you know, uh, how do you feel about playing against uh, Maradona or, you know, um, they named people name players they, they love and if I played against them they want to know how I've done or who's the best or the usual the usual questions but, you know? what was it like to play against Maradona uh, it wasn't a happy experience he was uh, no he did one thing that was I just thought was ridiculous someone blasted a ball at him and I, I think he'd been out with Brian Robson the night before so yeah uh, but, he, but he just straight, he just put out his leg like this and stopped the ball on, on the end of his toe and held it there and I was supposed to be marking him I'm looking I'm standing about 10 yards away from him I'm just looking at him and he kept the ball on his toe and then he just puts it to the ground and runs off and I was supposed to be marking him so I was just thinking How'd you do that? How'd you do that? You know, and that's the sort of player he was. He was just, he was, yeah. a, geni he was a genius. Genius. What's the, what was the greatest compliment that another footballer uh, had paid you? Um, and Andy Gray wasn't a, uh, uh, do you know, yeah. the, the Andy Gray wasn't a, I remember I tackled him and, and when I, I tackled him, I actually caught the ball right and he spun up in the air and he landed and he started then he started just coming, giving me out, giving me this, you know. And I was only a young lad at all traveled then. And then I, he was trying to beat me up, like sort of thing. I was thinking, why are you trying to beat me up for? And it was just such a good tackle, seriously, yeah, yeah. you know. So, and I mean, I I took that as a compliment. <laughs> When you stopped playing, uh, how chaotic did it get? <clears throat> oh, very for me, because, I, and, and everyone was saying it, you know, what are you going to do when you, when you when you finish football and stuff like that? And I sure it was the only thing I ever knew. I wasn't very good at school. I think I was expelled just before I left Sally Noggin and stuff like that. Um, so I wasn't really good at maths and, and all this sort of thing. But, uh, you know, so I, I kind of panicked and I didn't know what I was going to do. But then I... I, I was getting, I was finishing my second uh, divorce, so I just decided that I'd come back to Ireland and just find somewhere to live and and live a quiet life and just try and just try and be happy. You know what I mean? Did you go Did you go mad on on drink for her? Ah, huh, yeah. I would have. I would have. Yeah. <clears throat> because that was my that was my way of just uh, you know kind of slamming the gates and just sitting sitting in the house and just getting getting. Um, 
in a bad way, you know. And then friends would 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 come and try and get me out and try and get me out of the house and stuff like that. But actually, I was a I was a shocking person to to try and do anything with when I was drunk, because I just didn't I didn't like myself. I didn't like what I was doing to my children. I didn't. There was always something that I could relate to that I I didn't do well. I wanted I wanted to be a good father. I wanted to be to all six of my kids, and I wasn't. And um, so that was tough, you know. Yeah. So that's the reason. I, I, it's not the only reason, though. It's it's just uh, I'm not very. I was I was never very confident. That's what it boils down to. I'm very confident. Um, was it was it very difficult uh, stopping drinking? <laughs> um, it still is, yeah. It still is for me. But, um, you know, I I, I I don't drink half as much as I you. Well, no, I shouldn't say it like that, half as much because that was quite a lot. That would be quite a lot, I should say. But I, I, yeah, I do find it hard, and I haven't, I haven't completely. If I'd be a liar if I said I've, I've, I've completely stopped drinking. But I've cut it down to a, where it's manageable with me. I don't, I don't drive cars, and I don't do the, uh, yeah. the bad things when, I, when I'm, when I'm uh, depressed or, or drinking or whatever I'm doing. You're drinking by yourself. Um, yeah, I drink in the house. I just, you know, close the close the curtains and just uh, sit there and just just drink and lately even start talking to myself which is which is i'm getting worried about that side of it now and uh i try and keep again i still try and keep myself to myself and i get asked to do things uh from time to time that i really want to do mm. and um like i'm not not trying to blow you up Brandon, but when i heard it was you i, I said I, I would like to do that good thank you and uh but but i'm but i'm still do you know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm just trying. I'm, I'm just trying to get around my life now without hurting too many people. I think I've hurt a lot of people along the way, and I'm just trying to get through my life hurting uh, as few as I can. Put it that way. Yeah. But that's. Uh, so I'm lucky. I, 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 I'm. I've always felt blessed that that. Like I, as I say, I was ta- I was taken under the Irish people's wing. I went over, not wing. That sounded like a, an organisation. <laughs> but uh, but I love I love I love that I was I was, I was uh, brought here when I was brought here at eight eight weeks old or whatever it was, and I was taken by uh, t- to to heart by the Irish people, and 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 I can still make a living. <laughs> um, you know, without sounding um, uh, sentimental or trite or any of those things I, uh, I had a bit of a reaction when you said you were taken under the wing of the Irish people because I have no sense of that at all you're Irish yes you know there's no um, there's, uh, you're as Irish as I am there's, you don't, there's, there's no um, that's, that, uh, I mean there's no sense of we're doing you a favour. If anything, and I speak for a lot of people, <laughs> you're the one who did us a favour. Oh, you know, so, um, so yeah, um, thank you. Uh, 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 thank you very much for braving us and coming out to chat. Well, it's, it's been, been an absolute been a pleasure. pleasure. It's been